about uh, 9 o'clock in the morning, there was a bomb blast in front of St. John's Catholic Cathedral. It's uh, along uh, Motala Mohammed Way, very close to the stadium in Bauchi. And what happened really was that a suicide bomber We'd like to know, um, yes, sir, uh, Mr. We would like to know, he detonated the car on the main road, but was the church affected? The church building and the people inside, were they affected? Uh, as of now, the church building, so far as we are concerned, is not affected. It happened on the main road, and it didn't affect the building of the church. Okay, we also understand that... Um, there were casualties as well. Could you confirm that? Could you confirm the casualty figure? We understand that uh, people were killed and some injured. Could you confirm that? Yes. Uh, on the spot, two people died. That is the suspect bomber and one woman. And uh, about 46 people who were injured were evacuated to uh, Abu Bakr Safar and they were in the University Teaching Hospital. While in the hospital, a boy of about 8 to 10 years old was confirmed dead. So only three people we have seen to have died in that incident. Uh, well, earlier on, we also understand that uh, some the journalists were actually not allowed into the hospitals where the patients, the victims of the, the injured victims of the blast had been conveyed to. Why is it so? Uh, that is not to my knowledge. I was at the hospital my, myself. But you will know that a large crowd had to gather there. And security agencies were there on hand to check uh, the influx of people in order to prevent any similar occurrence in that area, but I didn't see any journalist that was prevented because I was personally interviewed by a journalist right in the premises of that hospital. All right, thanks for confirming that, but have you has have your men made any arrests so far? Well, in matters like this, we just immediately think of how we can save lives, and uh, we have done so, we are doing so as of now, the area is being evacuated. And the uh, investigation has commenced. Immediately we make any arrest, we will let you know. Okay. But then, uh, what arrangements are being uh, put in place to forestall uh, future occurrence? Yes, we understand that churches are being uh, targeted up north, along with other places of worship. But uh, so far, so good. Such incidences have reduced. But what then are the security forces will be doing to forestall any other attacks like this, or even attempted attacks like this? I'm happy you have mentioned that you are aware that we put some arrangement in place to forestall this kind of things. Uh, that's much we can do in, in, the, in, the, in the interim. But what we have been doing is to try to call on members of the public to give us information. If a lot of people come to our aid by way of giving information, a lot of these things will be reduced. And that is what we bank upon. The police or other security agencies are not magicians. And we will only be able to work and succeed if we have the cooperation of members of the public. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Otitoju. We definitely will be getting back to you even as uh, events uh, continue to develop.